Okay, so the first step to the chain drive is you need to take your gear train with idler apart. So take your collars off the back sides here so that you can slide the axles out. Yours was the gear train with the idler, so you'll have a third set of bushings here. Go ahead and take two of the two sets of bushings off, but you can leave one set of bushings on because you'll need them for the chain drive. Okay, now the chain drive is very similar to the uh, gear train, but we're going to use, instead of gears, they look just a lot like gears, but they got bigger teeth on them. So we're gonna use these. These are called sprockets. So the only difference between these and gears is that as you can see, they have fewer teeth because the teeth are bigger, and that will allow them to grab onto our chain a lot easier, all right? So like I said, you could just leave one set of the bushings on. I've got it on the front and the back. Okay, and we're going to take the gear off of this axle and put the sprocket on, just like that. And then I'm just gonna put the sprocket through the two bushings, like that. And put a collar on the back side. Make sure it's tight. So you want this to be able to spin. But it's not rattling all over the place. Now the thing that's uh, the main difference between the uh, gear train and the chain drive is that the sprockets cannot touch because when they touch, they wanna to spin in opposite directions. We learned that from the gear train. But with the chain drive, uh, both sprockets will turn in the same direction. So they'll either both go clockwise or both go counterclockwise. So what we need to do is just pick a space over here that makes it so that the two sprockets don't touch each other. So just any, like, you know, it doesn't really matter where, you just gotta pick a spot that is not right next to here. So I'm just gonna pick a spot over here, take my bushing here, my green screws are still inside of it, and I just put my bushing up there. And then you wanna put the hex nut. Remember that's the one with the teeth in it. Okay, the hex nuts go inside of your framework to hold on those green screws. Now, if your frame is attached to your build plate, that's fine. You can leave it attached. For the chain drive, it doesn't really matter if this is, if this is on the build plate or not, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you can do either way. Uh, for other mechanisms, you're going to have to have the build plate, but for the chain drive, it'll work without, so it doesn't matter either way. So I've got the um, bushing on the front here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten those screws a little bit. Again, you don't want to make them super, super tight because you are going to want to get them off, but you don't want them falling apart either. I'm going to put the bushing on the back side. So you can see I've just lined the two bushings up with each other so that the axle will go straight through the hole. Okay, put some hex nuts in here. To attach that bushing. I'm 
There we go. Use my hex driver to get those tightened. Okay, then I'm just going to take my axle that had the gear on it, simply slide the gear off, put the uh, sprocket on, just slide it right over the end there. Slide that into my bushings that I just put on. Add collar here on the back side. Oh, collar's a little tight. So just so you can see, I'm just putting the collar on the back side of the axle here. Doesn't want to slide on there. much much easier than this all right well I don't know what's up with that collar we'll try a different one Okay, so that one slid on easier. I don't know what was on with, up with that other one. I loosened the screw all the way, but I could not get it on there. So just slide the collar on there. Tighten it up with the hex driver here. So now you can see it's got the collars on the back, sprockets on the front. They both turn easily. Now we just have to add the chain. Now this chain, if it's too long, you just take your fingernail and put it between two pieces and just pull the outside off and it will come right apart. And then when you go to put it together, you just snap it one peg into the hole. So there's a peg right there. There's a hole. Put one peg in the one hole. Slide the other peg in the other hole and it goes together. All right, so just wrap the chain around your sprockets. Fasten it together like I just showed you. And there you have it, chain drive. Notice that when I spin, take the handle, When I spin this one as the drive, they're both going in the same direction now. So that's a big difference between the chain drive and the gear train, is that both sprockets will turn the same direction. If your chain is a little bit too loose, you might need to, maybe you put your, your sprockets closer together, so you might just have to take a few chain links off. If it's falling off your sprockets, like if they're too close together, then the chain will just kind of fall off the sprockets. So just take a few chain links out and you'll be just fine. And then go ahead and put your handle on there. Okay, you can see how it fits together. All right, and that's all for the chain drive.